when scientists recently decided to try and find life outside of our planet, they knew it was going to be no easy task. We have searched deep into the cosmos for planets that could contain some type of life form. But it wasn't until recently that scientists decided to turn their telescopes and really focus on the Jovian system. The Jovian system includes Jupiter, its rings and moons. There are at least 79 moons orbiting Jupiter that we know of so far, each of them containing vastly unique elements. Scientists know that out of all the elements necessary for life, water is by far the most important. Now it looks like we have finally just found water in one of the most unlikely places in our solar system, and it happens to be so close that we may be able to visit it in the near future. So, what incredible discovery did scientists recently come across? And can something really be living on one of Jupiter's moons? Well, let's find out. Unlike Earth, the planet Jupiter has more than one moon. In fact, Jupiter has at least 79 different moons and Europa is just one of them. Europa is the sixth largest moon in the Jovian system and is about 90% the size of our own moon that orbits Earth. Recently, the Hubble Space Telescope made a discovery that shocked and excited NASA. After years of suspicion and speculation, Hubble detected water vapor in the atmosphere of Europa. This massive discovery gives scientists a much better understanding of Jupiter's moons and offers the idea that maybe, just maybe, Europa has conditions that are hospitable for life. If that were the case, it means that future scientific missions related to the Jovian system will have a strong focus on finding life. Like all things related to scientific space discoveries, this huge find raises even more questions than answers. Observations of water on Europa have been made before, but all previous discoveries of water on the Moon have been associated with plumes of water erupting through the ice that coats the planet. These plumes of water are similar to geysers found on Earth, although the plumes are thought to shoot about 60 miles into the sky. However, these new findings show amounts of water vapor spread over a larger area of Europa. All said and done, the vapor has been spotted many times over the last two decades, which suggests a long-term presence in Europa's atmosphere. Why is this so shocking? Well, it's not just because finding water in any part of the solar system is cause for celebration. The Europa finding is even more surprising because the Moon is so darn cold. The daytime high on Europa is about negative 260 degrees. That's partly because the Moon reflects sunlight off of itself, preventing it from warming up much. Yet the Moon is still producing a persistent amount of water vapor, something that is making scientists wonder what other tricks Europa has up its sleeve. Images of Europa from satellites have been captured several times. In fact, Europa is quite popular among scientists and astronomers. In the 1970s, NASA's twin Pioneer and twin Voyager spacecraft provided the first close-up pictures of a damaged frozen surface. The Galileo mission, which took place from 1995 and 2003, provided much more information on Jupiter and its moons. In addition to the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories located near or on Earth, several spacecraft have gone past Europa as they made their way to other destinations. However, these views are constrained since they have all been on or near the ecliptic, a plane on which the Sun, planets and many of the moons of the solar system circle. Now you can see why such incredible photographs of Europa and its water vapors are so special. For years, it had all been hiding in plain sight, just waiting for NASA and scientists on Earth to discover it. This incredible find was made by Lorenz Roth of the KTH Royal Institute of Technology, Space and Plasma Physics in Sweden. Roth made his discovery by examining data collected by the Hubble telescope over multiple years. He did so by using the Telescope Imaging Spectrograph, or STIS, which allows astronomers to assess the chemical elements that make up a planet or moon's atmosphere. Roth was able to quantify the amount of molecular oxygen in Europa's atmosphere based on these measurements. 
While that might not sound like very exciting work for you and me, it allowed Roth to stumble upon this incredible discovery. While finding water vapours on Europa is without a doubt a major deal, it's not the first time that one of Jupiter's many moons revealed its affinity for liquid. Just months ago, it was confirmed that water vapours also exist on another of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede. Located half a billion miles from the Sun, the water on Ganymede is frozen solid in temperatures that reach as low as negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 184 degrees Celsius. It's long been assumed that if an ocean exists on Ganymede, it would have to reside some 100 miles below the surface due to its frigid climate. Despite the bone-chilling temperature, it was determined that when the charged particles from the Sun reach the Moon, it's enough to turn the ice into water vapours. Still, the news of water on Europa is a bit more surprising, simply because Europa's surface is generally more consistently cold and rarely ever peaking above negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Finding water vapours on the Moon means that Europa immediately shoots to the top of the list for places that scientists want to explore. And in just a few years, those startling revelations may come to pass. That's because Europa and the other moons surrounding Jupiter are set to be explored within a decade. The ESA's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, otherwise known as JUICE, is set to launch in 2022 and will arrive in the Jovian system in 2031. JUICE is a major project that is being created to really understand Jupiter's entire system so much better. The centerpiece of JUICE will be a powerful probe that will carry instruments comprising of the most powerful sensing equipment ever created. It will fly to Europa and many of the other moons and catalogue what it finds. Specifically, JUICE is looking for any more signs that life could have existed or still does. For years, not much has been known about Jupiter as it existed far past our reach in the icy depths of space. But these latest discoveries on the planet's moons have shown that this is a section of the solar system that we should be paying close attention to. Soon enough, we will get more answers. But until then, we will have to keep hoping that once we do finally explore Europa, it will be worth the wait. Thanks for watching. And while you are still here, go ahead and click the video on your screen for more fascinating stories about space. I'll see you there.